Hi there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, a little while ago, I shared with you the DWG Compare tool inside of AutoCAD 2019. All right, and it was pretty awesome. Well, it's even more awesome inside of AutoCAD 2020, and I want to make sure that you know all about it. All right, are you with me? So first off, you're like, why, Lynn, do I need a DWG Compare tool to begin with? I know you've been in the situation where you had join A and you wanted to know the difference between join A and join B and that is why you need a DWG compared tool. All right, how does it work? Well, in 2020, it's going to use the current join as the first join that's part of your DWG compare. And I'm in a join file called first floor plan version one. And I want to compare it to a join called first floor plan version two. All right, so I'm going to go to the collaborate tab on the ribbon which I jokingly said last time, if I were truly collaborating, I wouldn't even need this tool. I'm gonna to go to DWG Compare, and I'm gonna pick the other join that I want to compare it to, and here it is right here, first of all, plan, version two, all right? And then it immediately launches the DWG Compare. You'll see I have this really cool panel here on the side, and I also have a toolbar up here that's gonna help me with my DWG Compare. All right, what am I looking at on the screen? Now, it's much more clear in AutoCAD 2020. You'll see it, everything that's in red, not in the current drawing. Everything in green, only in the current drawing. And everything that is gray, those are the things that are the same between the two drawing files. It's very, very clear. And you can turn things on and off. So I don't want, I'm gonna turn off everything that's the same. Now I'm only focusing on the differences. I can also turn off everything that's only in the current join. So now I'm just looking at everything that's not in the current join. Then I could say, oh, okay, I need to make some changes accordingly, right? So it's very, very easy to work with these. I love the way they did this. You also can control the draw order. So you can control, you know, what's on the top. Maybe you want everything that's not in the current join to be on the top, for example. Totally up to you. Now, I like to work with a light background sometimes. Sometimes I swing both ways. Sometimes I like a dark background. But you can see right now that there are revision clouds in my drawing file as part of this DWG Compare. I can barely see them because they're yellow. So just so you know, you have complete control over the color of the revision clouds. Simply click and you can control any of these colors if you don't like the red, if you don't like the green. In this case, I don't like the yellow. I'm gonna change it to something a little more magenta-like which were not for AutoCAD, a lot of us would not know the color of magenta, right? <laughs> it's kind of forced us to know it. And now it's a little bit easier for me to see those revision clouds. You can see there's a great big huge one right there. You can also control whether or not they're rectangular or polygonal. And I kind of joke because uh, in the AutoCAD videos they say polygonal, which makes me shudder as a math major. It's polygonal people, polygonal, polygonal, go back to school. Anyway, as rectangular, those are some pretty darn big revision clouds. It's hard, might as well put a big revision cloud around the whole drawing. Everything needs to be changed. Bunch of changes between the, all everything. Um, I like to change it to polygonal because it makes it a little bit more obvious where those actual changes are. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute here. You can also control how far away from the objects those revision clouds are. I don't think that that's super crucial. And you have some filters. Do you want it to do a compare on the hatches? You can see I said don't bother with the hatches, but you can turn those on if you want very easily. And I did have it compare the text. You can also turn that on and off easily. All right, now I have this panel pinned right now. After you get those set, you don't want that taking up valuable real estate. So you can unpin that panel. Not to worry, how do you get it back? You just come right back up here and you click on settings. You can get that back and repin it if you need to. Completely up to you. Once you get a set, you probably don't need to be changing those values very often. So get it out of the way. What else have I got on here? If you want to go back to your regular drawing mode and turn this off temporarily, go ahead and just click on that light bulb and now you're back to the way you were before, but it's still hanging out in the background. It's still there. I'm gonna bring it right back. What else have I got on here? Some great arrows to walk me through the changes, through those revision clouds. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the arrow. You can see it zoomed in, I'm kind of on that great big huge one. And uh, now it's gonna go to a little bit smaller one. And we're gonna go over and take a look at these sinks over here. So that means that there's you know something in the current join that's not in the other join because it's green. You can see some big changes there. 
and then you can see that I have something in the current drawing that's not in the other one, and I have something in the other drawing that's not in the current one. So those, uh, so those arrows allow me to stair step through the revision clouds, which I like. I like that. And that was also in 2019, but this, oh, I love this. This is in 2020, import objects. What if there's something in the comparison drawing that you want to put in the current drawing? I love that. I want that red square, which would take me hours to build. <laughs> I want to bring that into the current drawing. No problem. Click on import objects. You'll see a new command called compare import down there at the command line. I'm going to click, if it's red, right, it's not in the current drawing, and I'm going to hit an enter. And you can see, look at the revision cloud moved, right? Because now, now that is in the current drawing. There is no difference. It's been turned to gray because, once again, there's no difference. It's, 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 over, it's over it. <laughs> now the revision cloud is just focused on the green object, right, in the current drawing, not in the comparison drawing. So I love that new tool. What a great addition to 2020. And then uh, I might also want to take a snapshot of the differences between the two drawing files. This is the way 2019 worked. It just made one overall drawing file. Very easy. Click on export snapshot. It's going to give you a little dialog box letting you know it's going to create a new drawing file with a comparison between the two. You're, of course, going to turn off this message so it doesn't annoy you every time you, you click on it. I'm going to keep it on because I have to demonstrate this all the time. And it, by default, it's going to create a comparison drawing. You can call it what you want, but by default, compare first floor plan version one, join A, with first floor plan version two, join B. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a save on that. And then I could send that file to somebody and say, hey, look, this is a comparison. I need you to, you know, rectify this. I need you to straighten this out, for example. Now, when you're finished, how do you get back to normal? You just click on the green arrow, that means it, the green check mark, that means that you are done. You are finished. Check, please. And then when you zoom back out, you can see I did get that nice box out of there as an addition, but you'll see it's like I never happened. I never did the DWG compare, and I'm back to my standard join mode. I think you're going to find that the updated DWG compare capability is amazing inside of AutoCAD 2020. Give it a try. It's going to save you lots of time, lots of headache comparing two join files. And I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.